Hi there, my name is Ferdy Korpsoek for WordPressKing.com and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create an overview page with all your social media updates like this or this. I want to be honest with you guys up front, there is a free version of this tool and it allows you to have one embeddable social media feed. So for instance, if you want to have a feed with only your Facebook updates or only your Instagram updates, then this free version is a great tool, but if you want to have more embeddable social media feeds in the same page, for instance, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, then you need to upgrade to $99 per month. So if you want to have multiple embeddable feeds, then this is not the tool for you if you don't want to spend this amount of money. If you want to have one embeddable social media feed, then this is the right tool for you. And then you can follow along in the tutorial. I will do that on my WordPress website, wordpressking.com. I will log in. I will create a new page and I call it social media. I publish it. I go to appearance, menus, and here it is. I select it, I add it to the menu. I drag it up a little bit. I make it capitals. I save it and I take a look here. Go to social media and I have a social media page. I want to fill with my social media updates. In order to do that, go to juicer.io and here we can have a social media feed. If I scroll down all the way to the bottom, I can go to live examples. I open these two left and right. And here you see a feed of Instagram only. I scroll down here. And you see a feed of probably Instagram or Twitter. You can load more. And you can also connect different social media platforms on your page. We are going to do that. So I scroll back up. I go to sign up. And this is my email address. And I have to create a password. I agree with the privacy policy in terms of service. And now I have to create a feed. I want to take this URL. I remove the forward slash and I create a feed. First, I want to select social media. So I go to Facebook, to WordPress King. I copy the link and I remove this. So include posts that mention my page. No, create source. And this is how it looks like. I want to add a YouTube source. So I go to social media sources and I click on YouTube. This option is only available for one week for free. After that, you need to upgrade to $99 per month if you want to have multiple social media sources. So if you don't want that, then you can keep this for free, but then you only have one social media source. And it's called WordPress King. I create the source. And now you see my WordPress King videos and my WordPress King Facebook updates. And let's go to the feed settings. I can create a different style, like this one, very big, or a slider. If you go over it, you can read it and you can slide. Gray. So there's a box around it. And let me see. I like this one. You can also change the columns to four. And I think I like it this way. You can change more things, but for now, I like it. Now I click on 
embed in your site. And I have to say, I have a WordPress site. Download the Juicer WordPress install plugin. I save it. I go to the backend, to plugins, add a new one, upload a plugin, browse, I go to my downloads, recent downloads, juicer.zip, install it, I activate a plugin. I have to go here, and there's one problem. I can't copy this. I don't know why. So let's try it in Chrome. I sign in. I go to embedding your site. I have a WordPress site. And here I can select it, copy, I go to my WordPress website, go to social media, edit the page, and I just paste the text over here. I update it, view the page, now it says powered by Juicer, and you see all this stuff. People can share it or they can view it on Facebook. And that's how it works. Really nice in my opinion. One other thing. You can go to the feed settings. And the post order can be most popular. And then the order will change. If you change it here, it will be changed on your website also. What I'm gonna do, I don't know if it's legal, but I will show you and it's up to you what you do with it. If you don't like this, you can remove it. Go to the backend. Go to plugins. Let's run an update. And edit it. And then search for Powered by Juicer. You can remove this line over here and select the link and change it to this. Then you scroll down, update the file. Social media. And now it's gone. This title has to do with my theme. I can remove it, but for now it looks like this. Really nice in my opinion. So you can use it for free if you want to show one embedded platform. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it and I see you next time. Bye bye. It's 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 time. Bye. -bye.